Hey everyone, my name is James, and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So we're back for another day of our yo-yo only adventure. It's the start of a new month, the end of Halloween, the beginning of Christmas. And I really like the start of a new month. I find it to be kind of inspiring, because I always like to look at my time on YouTube in these one month segments. So every month I say to myself, alright, how did you do last month? And you know, October was alright, I was a bit ill. Alright, we're not going to beat ourselves up about that one. You can't help getting a cold, but it's the start of a new month and I'm pledging myself to try a little bit harder, to do a little bit more, and I think that's cool. So, in today's episode, we actually have the chance of getting two brand new yo-yos. We have the Oblivion, which I have to say in that voice because it's amazing, and there's also the Quagmire. Now, the Quagmire is a yo-yo that I feel like kind of reflects a little bit about the channel, because, hear me out, I remember seeing it in season one of the Calamity mod and going, Oh, mods have yo-yos? Like, that's really cool. Uh, one day I'll get around to doing a yo-yo series. Here we are. I do look back on that yo-yo and I think, ha, huh, that's kind of cool. And if I remember correctly, it has like these little um, plague spores that go around it, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we got two yo-yos to get, and here is how we're gonna get them. So we have on the list, we have Plantera, and we have Calamitous. Now, truth be told, Plantera could be done before Calamitous, because here we have a uh, vanilla boss that's probably specced kind of nicely with, with what we've got right now. Calamitous is a modded boss, and the yo-yo it's gonna give us... Is not particularly special so I think what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna spend a little bit of time because it's currently 2 p.m. in Terraria so we got like five and a half minutes so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time looking around for a plantera ball because I went into the jungle today I was like right I'm gonna make an arena it's gonna be amazing and I did and I got myself some life fruit thanks to calamity but I didn't manage to get myself a, um, a plantera ball so what I want to do is, I want to try and find, like, the quickest way of getting either one of these boss fights done. So it's kind of cool, you know? I look around, if you find a Plantera Bulb, you find one. If you don't, you find Calamitous, right? Alright, so what I decided to do was to just wait until I got a Plantera Bulb. Rather than, like, you know, just running back at the night time, I just wanted to seek this one out. And I was kind of thinking about it. I was like, how do I want this balancing to work, you know? Plantera is after Calamitous, and it's going to give us things that are better than what come from Calamitous. But then I thought, you know what? We need to throw balancing out the window, because I'm kind of in this for the yo-yos, and I feel like if we do Plantera and we get these upgrades, it's going to make Calamitous even better anyway. So that being said, this is my arena that I was working on earlier today. And would you look at this? We got ourselves a Plantera ball, which is uh, super cool. So there is no cheap way to get yourself a Plantera bulb in Terraria, right? You just have to wait it out. It's one of the things I hate the most about Terraria. Like, if I ever make this video about things that need to change, this is definitely one of them. But I will say, making these tunnels really does work. Like, you make a few tunnels and you just leave them. Like, I've got a few over here. Well, actually, I've just got one over here. But that's how I got this over here, which is cool. You know, just a good little tip if you're, uh, you know, ever coming up against Plantera. Keep it in mind. It really does work. I found great success with it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to buff up. We're going to gear up for this fight. I have made a couple of changes to the character since yesterday. I ended up making the mechanical glove. And to do that, I had to trade in my uh, warrior's emblem. And the reason I did it is because the Warrior's Emblem gave 15% melee damage, but the Mechanical Glove gives something like 12, but it also gives melee speed. And I'm pretty sure that increases your yo-yo string length. So I was like, well, that's a pretty good upgrade, really. Um, being able to keep a distance from a boss is, uh, is pretty good, right? So I was like, that's a good trade-off. I also removed the uh, Shield of Cthulhu so that I can use Kinetic Potions, which we've used in an episode before, and it's kind of cheaty. You know, you, you don't really want to use it if you're playing Calamity Pure. But because this is like a mix between a couple of mods and, you know, progression is just like something I'm... You know, it's in between me and the yo-yos. I'm not really too bothered about that. So, I'm using that. And then I reforged a couple of things as well. So, that's where I'm at. Alright. Let me heal up and then we'll, um, we'll begin. 
So yeah, being the start of a new month, I like to uh, to do my channel evaluation. And I have to say, last month was still very good, even though I took a week off. Which, you know, does kind of hurt the stats a little bit, but you can't help being ill at the end of the day. I'll never be able to help that. But it's funny because I made a video this time last month and I said that YouTube said to me, Hey, you're getting a lot of new viewers, but they're not subscribing. Tell them to subscribe. And I said that in a video last month. And looking back on the analytics, there's a huge spike from the time I go, hey, subscribe. I don't really say it all that often. I'm always like, you know, like the video, join the notification. But, you know, I never say subscribe. So, hey, if you are watching this and you are new and you watch it anyway, because there are you are out there. YouTube says it, right? YouTube knows all the facts. Subscribe. Okay, this is just all me killing time, by the way. I want to do Plantera, but I don't want to do it before I have good health, because it's like, what's the point, right? Did we just get a, um, a candy? Can you still... Is the Halloween event still on? I feel like it is. I feel like it's probably still on for a couple more days. Yeah, that was like a... Like a candy apple? I don't know what they are in America. We call them toffee apples. Might be the same name in America. Okay, okay. This is not what you wanted. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh my god. The amount of damage I just had to take then because of that. Amazing. Right, we're going to do this using a boss cursor. Okay, right. I already don't like how this fight is going because I'm just taking, like, dumb damage. But that's what you, um... That's what you risk when you have a fight that's, like, in an area like this. I, I feel like that Medusa's going to kill me. I wish I could, like, go down and take out the Medusa. Maybe I should. But will the Medusa... There we go, right. The Medusa's just too much to handle. So, if you all had a good Halloween, I ended up having a very good Halloween myself. I saw that a lot of you, you either went out trick-or-treating. The majority of you were like, I'm too old to trick-or-treat, right? Don't blame you. Um, or you just stayed in, like me, right? I had a good time. I ended up watching this uh, horror film called Hereditary. I would recommend it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I've seen pretty much every horror film under the sun, right? And it's not even my favorite genre. It's Court's favorite genre, so I've seen so many of them. And I would say this one is it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It's not particularly scary, but it's just a little bit above what a normal horror film will do. And um, there wasn't too many jump scares, actually. And I kind of like that. Jump scares don't really make me jump, but every time I'm like, why did you assault my ears like that? Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of it relies on music. All right, now we're into this second part of the fight. I should probably shut up. But yeah, I would recommend it. It's free in Britain on Amazon Prime. What more can you ask for, right? <laughs> you don't even have to rent it. Amazing. Okay, right. I'm, I'm genuinely thinking that this fight's not going to go too well. But I almost feel like it's that case of the wall of flesh. Do you know when you get nervous and you don't attack it? When you're like, maybe I should have rushed it at this point. Because the thing is, I can't keep my distance with this fight. I have to, to get in close. I right, was going to take a few more buffs. Can you imagine if Plantera's um, little hooks dropped health if you killed them? This would be such a different fight. It would be so much easier. You'd be like, right, let me kill a few hooks. I'm going to get all that mad damage. Then it really would be more like the wall of flesh, wouldn't it? See, I feel like I'm not getting close enough to really hit it. I'm relying on the lasers. But I'm also like, if it works, it works. Okay, let me keep buffing up. I want to make sure that I'm, like, fresh. <laughs> Come on. I want to do this first time because this Plantera bulb was so good. And I don't know where Inavorn is. I do feel like this is achievable because I'm not taking too much damage. I think if I um, if I didn't have an Obsidian Shield, though, this would, like, this would be over. <laughs> like, I'd be dead by now. Just because I'm, like, walking into the, uh, the little things a lot. I almost feel like it's not the lasers doing damage. I do feel like I need to tank it. Right, we're going in for the tank anyway. Okay. Oh, I just got to heal up then. Amazing. All right. That's what happens when you play modded. Ocean depths are trembling. Screams are echoing from the dungeon. Something stirs in the aquatic depths. Plantera's luminescent energy. Cool. All right. So the reason why we did that is because we needed perennial ore. And, um, and perennial ore, I believe, grows anywhere. And I'm pretty sure that might be perennial ore. I'm going to go and grab this. So, yeah, the perennial ore is what makes the quagmire, I think. Actually, do you know what? That's illuminant ore. I don't know what illuminant ore is. So, um, I wish I had my little, uh, I wish I had my little, um, 
yo-yo list next to me, but I don't. <laughs> so I can't even like give you all the straight answer. I feel like the Quagmire dropped from Plantera now that I'm thinking about it. But the Perennial Lord probably makes new armor. That might be right. What is Illumin Illuminant All? I can't remember. Okay. Well, let me, let me go inside. Let me dump all this away. So, favorite that. And then is there anything else that we needed? We got a little bit of lore. Well done. You killed a plant. It was used as a vessel to house the spirits of those unfortunate enough to find their way down here. I wish you luck in dealing with the fallout. Place in your inventory to gain a boost to your item grab range. That's kind of cool. I'm not really that interested though. So, <laughs> bye-bye. Right. Let me uh, sort this out. We'll give this an open. So what we got is some living shards. We got a mask. We got some bloom weave. That's from the Thoria mod. Temple key, spore sack, demonic wasp gun, ceilings, and bud bombs. Right. So quagmire, quagmire, quagmire. Ooh, there it is. All right. So it is made of perennial ore. So I've got to go and grab some of that. And yeah, it just grows in the underground. So I think what I'm going to do is... Because I'm pretty sure we get a big upgrade here. So I'm going to buy all of my buffs again. Because I, I just used them all. I'm going to buy all my buffs. We're going to go down. We're going to get perennial ore. We're going to make the quagmire. We're going to make the armor set. And then we'll do calamitous. And if calamitous goes well, then what can we say? Perfect episode, right? But if it doesn't go well, we'll have to change some more stuff. And I'm pretty certain that the quagmire is not as good as this yo-yo. But the upgrade to the armor will be... So, just something to keep in mind. Alright, so we've already found Perennial Ore. Super simple to find. I thought it might be difficult because at this point, I've got so many, like, modded ores on the go. And you got to remember, like, terraria has got a lot of ore itself. But I was like, there's no way that this mod is cramming any more ores. But yeah, it's there. It works. You actually get quite a bit of it. I do feel like they've made this super convenient. They're like, alright, we know that you mine fast. Just grab the ore and get on with it. It's almost like giving you it at this point. It's like, go on, just grab your ore. Thank you very much, Calamity. I will. Thank you for all the perennial ore. So, <laughs> it was funny yesterday when I um, when I was giving the little history about the, uh, the Domino's Rolex. I didn't really know how that tangent would go down. I thought there might be a little bit of like, a bit of a backlash because it's such a, uh, like an ostentatious... Uh, subject to be like, all right, let's talk about a Rolex. But I'm glad that you guys got the, the goofy Domino's nature of it. And then we also got a little bit of insight from a viewer who, um, who like, worked at a Domino's. And yeah, the it just seems like an impossible task. They posted some statistics, and I pinned it in the last episode. But, um, but I was like, wow. Because I tried looking up how achievable the Domino's Rolex was, right? This is where I changed my entire life's ambitions, right? YouTuber no more. Domino's franchisee. That's what I'm becoming, right? I just want... I'm just in it for the Rolex. <laughs> Could you imagine? And, um, yeah, it just seems very, very, very unachievable. So I feel like if anybody wants it, just go and buy them. Clearly, the people that get them don't value them. Because they're, they're up for sale all the time. <laughs> Even recent ones are up for sale. So like people are getting them and they're like, you know what? I don't want a Domino's Rolex. <laughs> See you later fam. So I did think that was very interesting. And it also reminded me like the power of, um, of our community. I say a little dumb side story about a Domino's Rolex. And there's an audience member that knows like the ins and outs. Isn't that crazy to think about the fact that, like, us as a community, so many different people from, like, so many different parts of the world knowing so many different things? It's mad. I feel like I could travel to anywhere in the world and feel safe, which is kind of strange, right? But it is true. It's like, you know what? If I was in a bit of a pickle, I know that there's probably, like, I don't know, a thousand people in Britain to say, hey, you're going to be all right. <laughs> I was trying to think of like something that could go wrong that didn't sound too drastic like a broken a broken down car <laughs> I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this it's not like I would actually call on anybody to be like you know what I need help with me broken down car but it's there right does that make sense I don't know <laughs> this is weird <laughs> that was a weirder side subject than the the Rolex okay right let's dump that all in there 
and um, and we'll make some perennial bars. I don't know the name of the um, the armor. Gut feeling says Reaver. So perennial bars. Ooh, look at you, you fancy. I feel like it's got a new sprite. That's like a little flower on a bar. That's cute. Thank you very much. And let's see. I think it's Reaver. Ooh, okay. Reaver, you be looking fancy too. Reaver has uh, got a new sprite from the last time I saw it. All right, okay. So that is the chest piece. So we'll make that. And then we'll make the leggings. We will make the helmet. So we want melee. So there's melee. And we've got 31 pieces left, which means we can make a quagmire. All right. Bam. The quagmire. 98 melee damage, 24% critical strike chance. Fires spore clouds. There we go. Amazing. A brand new yo-yo. Been a little while since we've had a new yo-yo. It does feel good to have one. I was kind of getting a little bit bummed out, but it's like, right, we've got a million things to do before we get a good one. All right. Um, come on. Give me a good reforge here. We're messing around with big money here. Just give me something decent. I'm going to lose all my money to this guy. Are you kidding me? The game's like, just take Ruthless. I'm going to have to take Unpleasant. So this is what we've got currently. This is 99 melee damage with a 39% critical strike chance. This is 24 and 88. But we can finally test this out, which I don't think I've done on the show yet. So this is a super dummy. It's part of the Calamity mod. And it allows you to do target dummy stuff and have all of the extra stuff. So for example, that's what that looks like. And here's what this looks like. It's the exact same thing, but if we were using this one, for example, no lasers, lasers. You get me? All right, so let's test this out. So this is currently... I don't know what to call that. I guess if you were moving around, it wouldn't be the same. And this is this. So I don't know. I don't know which one's better. Anyway, we need the new armor. So let me put this on. So 71 defense from 64... Set bonus is Reaver Fawns, and Rage activates when you are damaged. All right, so just like Jared Leto, we're damaged, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. All right, Calamitous round two. I think this one is gonna be like a sure win. I'm not gonna lie. I will say this: this looks amazing. Like, can we just be honest about this? Look how cool that looks with all the uh, the spores coming out. I almost can't see the second yo-yo because the spores are so cool. So this is 100% uh, a yo-yo that has changed since the time that I first saw it. I remember it being like little tiny spores. It was definitely not something that's so free-flowing, but I love it. I think it's so cool. This looks amazing. I'm all hyped about this. Those spores are going to be good too because if you remember in the last episode when we were doing this... It has that little phase with all the uh, the extra peeps and that. And um, and that's what I was struggling to take down. I was struggling to take down all the little extra bits because, you know, the lasers kind of weren't cutting it. So the spores are pretty good. I mean, this is already powerful. It's leaving behind a trail that's doing loads of damage. It's great. All right, let me kill the, uh, the cataclysm so that I can carry on doing real damage. All right, so he has a few different phases of that. Man, today... Today was stressful, let me tell you. So, I'm off to um, to New York in a couple of weeks, as many of you know. And uh, and one of the things that me and Courtney wanted to tick off our little bucket list was... Courtney really likes the, uh, the jewellery maker, Tiffany. And if you've ever been to New York on Fifth Ave, there's a, a Tiffany. It's really special. Somewhere, somewhere that's really, really nice. And you may know that Breakfast at Tiffany's is like, it's a film. You know, it's an aspiration. But you really can have breakfast at Tiffany's. It's a real thing. It's actually not that expensive compared to like a fancy breakfast. So it's like $30 a person, right? Which is expensive. But there are places that will definitely charge you more than $30. Anyway, the trick is to even get in there, you need a reservation. And the reservations are free, but they are so hard to get. And today, I was, like, getting on the website. You know, I'd had this plan for, like, weeks now to get on the website at a certain time to book my reservation. And um, and it rolls around. The time rolls around. And I'm like, great. Bam. There's my time. 
I clicked 1130, it's great. And it was like, create account. And I was like, no, because <laughs> I knew exactly what that meant. It was like, you don't have an account, so we're going to give your reservation away. And that's legitimately what happened. So the good thing is, because I'm there for a week, I can, um, I can try again tomorrow. You know, it's 30 days in advance. I'm going to try again tomorrow and see if I can get it. And, uh, and it should be fine. But I was so defeated. I was like, no, I waited ages for this. I'd been like practicing how to like quickly refresh and, and get everything that I needed to get. Oh, so defeated. All right, well, there's Calamitous done. Let's open that up. <laughs> that did not go the way I wanted. And the Oblivion fires brimstone lasers when enemies are nearby. There we go. Boys, we got ourselves another yo-yo. That's another one ticked off the list. It's going to be a while before we get the next yo-yo, to be completely honest. It is going to be a while, but um, it'll be worth it. Right, so I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. If you did enjoy and you are new, please subscribe. And if you're not new, hey, uh, make sure you're giving the video a big fat thumbs up because it goes a long way. Hope you're all great. Can't wait for an exciting month. It's going to be a good November. Um, I've already seen 10 Christmas trees. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.